We are now at consideration number nine. Number nine? Remember, wasn't, remember the Beatles song where they kept saying, number nine, number nine, number nine? I think that was during their drug years. Anyway, number nine is play. And that means a lot of different things to different people. But I will bring out some information, and it's in the, the information notes down there with links to some great YouTube uh, presentations on play. And Stuart Brown is one of the presenters on a TED Talk, and he talks about how play puts you into an altered state and allows you to explore the possible. Again, what is play? What is play for people? Some people... You have to make sure when you're playing um, board games with family members that you find out ahead of time whether or not winning is everything. Very important to find that out. <laughs> Otherwise, there was a comic strip my, my daughter sent me after a um, horrific Thanksgiving disaster <laughs> with myself, my partner, my daughter, her boyfriend, my son and his girlfriend. Might I add, alcohol was involved. However, Scrabble was the name of the game, and uh, it wasn't fun. So this comic that she sent me, Erica did, so sweet of her, is um, Scrabble is talking to another board game, and they're saying, I've broken up marriages, families, neighbors, <laughs> and Monopoly had the more. That, like, oh, well, I've broken up. Five million, whatever it was. It was hilarious. I wish I had it. It's probably somewhere on Facebook. If I can find it, it'll be down there too, okay? Um, so, without determining what play is when you're working with other people, what's play to you? You can get a hula hoop and just play. You can jump rope and play. Um, play is when you aren't worried about performance. That's what play is. And... Uh, Tim, Grant, Tim Brown does a presentation as well called Tales of Creativity and Play. And his is geared towards an environment that's playful to help the creative gears go. And he starts it off the video with an interesting exercise. You might want to try it yourself. It's kind of fun. It's like, okay, get some writing materials and go ahead and draw the person next to you in 30 seconds. And... Um, he just talks about how adults are embarrassed when they do that. Well, you'll see, but I don't want to be a spoiler. You need to watch at least the first five minutes. But the idea comes down to have a wild idea and go with it. I mean, I have this wild idea of being on, you know, YouTube. And the reason why <laughs> is because um, I'm writing that book, The Ten Considerations, and nobody knows me. I'm not famous, but... It's not that I'm trying to be, it's just that I have done a, a lifetime of soul searching and self-actualization and paying attention to my life and uh, trying to be spiritual while not denying a, a really good bottle of um, gin. <laughs> I like um, Hendrix, by the way, with cucumber garnish. Yep. Well, I went ahead and, um, speaking of playtime, getting back onto it, um, I Googled on YouTube. I didn't Google, I YouTubed. I did a search for playtime for adults, and guess what comes up? Oh, I forgot to mention, there's a chick that's really funny. How did I, how do I get ideas start swinging anyway? She's like the minute guru. She keeps all of her videos under a minute. She's funny. But, uh, she shows what play is all about. Make funny, playful videos, not st stupid ones that people get hurt in. You know, dumb and dumber, idiot and idiot-er. I know that's not a word. <laughs> but making up words can be fun. Um, so, yeah, she's down there in there, too. Uh, so here it is, playtime for adults. Here's a good one. Making an adult playtime balloon. This is what it says. I'm not clicking on it. I don't want it in my history. It says... For adults only, exclamation point, making a balloon with an ominous hole, laugh out loud. Why bother with expensive dolls and silly sheep when you can make dot, dot, dot. I'm not going into it, but it's gotten 23,483 views to date. That was three years ago that I posted. 
And then there is, let's see, it's playtime for adults only. A fun way to express your sexual sexuality. There's one in here that's Mommy is a Little Thief playtime with the Wonder Gang adults. But it has it features a dog. Okay, we all know dogs play. Um, there's one on here I think I want to see. It's called Bounce Castle Adult Playtime. Ha ha. <laughs> By Teresa Blundell. And she doesn't describe it. Oh. I don't know if I like this. It's 19 seconds of drunk people. Oh. They're playing now. They're playing. They're laughing. It's, it's 19 seconds of play. Bounce Castle Adult Playtime. Ha ha. Explanation point. Explanation point twice. That's funny. Okay, well, you know, there you have it. So find out what your play is and do it. And may it not be um, that one I refused to, to punch on the uh, <laughs> making an adult playtime balloon really now.